Hi guys, so I'm coming at you sort of in vlog mode today, looking completely natural here, just wash my face, trying to moisturize her actually. Um, but what I'm trying today for the first time, I have to leave in about 20 minutes, is a microcurrent facial. I have never had one before. And the principle I think is mostly that they just use an ultrasonic vibration using like two metal rods, I think, that they kind of just strategically place and touch around your face. And that massage is supposed to sort of exercise the facial muscles and in so doing stimulate collagen production. Um, they kind of call it like a non-surgical facelift. I don't know what to expect with the results. I don't know how long lasting the results are. Gosh, it looks really, really white. I'm gonna have to fix that white balance. Sorry about that. But I've never been to this salon before. If you're in the Columbus area, I'm, I'm going to try the Open Sky Day Spa. They're very reasonably priced. I will pop a link to their site down below. And I also first didn't like it, but then kind of changed my mind. You have to actually like email or call to schedule. They don't have just like an online scheduling thing. Um, it seems just aesthetically from the website a little bit more spa-ish than some of these like face bar type places where you kind of just go in and you're like in a row and people are like, you know, giving you a quick facial. Um, so I'm kind of excited to give that a go. And I did take some before pictures of just what I look like now. And I will absolutely come home and get an after picture straight away and um, kind of give you guys in my review of the experience and let you guys see what the results look like. So um, it's not really like a proper vlog because I've never been here before, so I'm not gonna take you in with me. Um, but it's much more casual than me at my vanity reviewing a product for you. So that's what we have on deck. Um, here we are, and um, like I said with this camera, I think I fixed the face blur problem that we were having, but um, I'll still have the before and after photos up from the other camera that I use. Hi guys, so I'm just back from getting the microcurrent facial. First and foremost, I'm not sure what I said on here earlier. I didn't go back and rewatch it, but when I was talking to a coworker earlier today and she said, oh, isn't microcurrent where they shock you? And I said, oh no, no, I'm pretty sure it's just ultrasonic vibrations. That was a lie. Microcurrent is in fact, um, a, it's a light electrical current. They like strategically place the rods in two places on your face and then they close the circuit. And it has multiple benefits. I was correct in saying it is supposed to stimulate collagen production, which is a good thing for people who are acne prone. It's very good for killing the bacteria within the skin that causes the acne and causes the breakouts. And um, there's one other primary thing for it. Oh, um, it can even out skin tone and texture as well. So um, I don't think I really look all that different than I did before, but so first of all, I will tell you that it was uncomfortable, at least for me. There was even a point where like she had one of the rods here under my chin, and I honestly thought it was gonna leave like a burn mark, and I told her, I asked her to like turn down the current, so it is a little bit adjustable if you're uncomfortable. Um, but even so, I found it kind of uncomfortable. Um, the second point was, um, Obviously, your eyes are closed because you're relaxing or trying to. And whenever the current closed, I could see like the blue zigzag lights of like of the electrical current. And I opened my eyes almost wondering if it was like arcing over my head, but it wasn't. Like the room was darkened and you couldn't see anything. It was just like I could see it passing under my skin, which was really weird. Um, kind of wigged me out. And um so the comfort factor was really like not there. I it was not like our super relaxing facial, I wouldn't say. Of course, afterwards she put like a nice uh, moisturizer and the many layers of stuff that they do at facials that are so wonderful. And um, obviously like this is no more red than my skin typically gets. So even if you are rosacea prone or have like a little bit of redness, this didn't seem to affect that at all or flare it up, which was really, really nice. And then as far as how my skin feels, like I said, I don't really think it looks that different, but pretty much even like from the moment I got in the car after the facial, everything just feels tight. It feels nice and like, I don't know, like my, even though I'm exhausted right now, like my skin, um, my facial muscles feel very awake and perky. Um, it's hard to explain. So just very rejuvenated, very, um, very nice and tight. Literally, I feel it. I get what they mean. Like, have you ever just like looked at yourself in the mirror and kind of tugged your skin back to see what a facelift might look like? That's what it feels like is happening. It feels like everything is kind of pulled up and back. Um, I don't know how long that lasts. Maybe like a week. Maybe like a month. Um, but I also kind of want to go to sleep tonight and then wake up tomorrow and see how it feels, see how it looks. 
Um, she put the treatment, the, you know, the moisturizers and treatments on my skin and said to just leave it for the night. Um, let everything kind of soak in. So I will pop on in the morning and double check, I guess, you know, if there's any change, anything significant that we can talk about. And um, other than that, microcurrent facial, kind of an interesting thing to try. No immediate dramatic results visually, even though it feels very nice. Um, and this, maybe I'll turn this into like a facial treatment series because there are lots of things that I'm wanting to try going into 2019. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. There might be a video coming about kind of talking about that topic and what I mean. Um, so stay tuned, but yeah, maybe I'll do like a series of different facial treatments that I'll try and let you guys know which ones I like and don't and why. Um, but it's been a really, really long week and this is my first day of holiday vacation. So I've got a nice glass of wine here and I'm going to try to just take the rest of the evening and relax because I just don't see myself getting anything else done tonight. So here's the update. And um, maybe what I'll even do is do a quick close-up with my other camera just in case this one is doing anything funky. Um, I've got the after photo, which I took with the other camera, and I'll pop that up for you guys too. But um, anyway. Hey guys, here I am. Just here's the close-up on my other camera. And even though like the white balance is a little bit different, I feel like my skin looks pretty much the same. So I guess that's good that the skin blurring feature is not a problem on the Sony right now. Um, but you can see just my usual redness that I have. But um, like right here is kind of where I mean I feel the tightness. I feel like I don't look as haggard um, here through the forehead and here where my parentheses lines typically are. So um, I should have just popped on this camera earlier, but I'm trying to decide right now whether or not I want to keep this Sony. This is a little vlogging guy that I use. Um, so I wanted to use it as much as possible, but neither here nor there. Wanted to show you guys the up close and personal of the face post facial. And in the morning, I guess I will just stay rooted to this camera and... Um, We'll just go from there for the final check. All right, good morning, you guys. So bright and early the next day, and this is what we're looking at. I feel like the redness in my face, especially here, has really calmed down. Um, but I have two new spots here by my nose this morning, so definitely broke out a little bit. Um, not sure if that's normal. I feel like with facials and stuff, it usually is, so, you know, whatever. Um, that really tight, lifted feeling has calmed down some. But I definitely, especially through here, not so much down along my jaw, but up through here, I still feel a little bit of a lifting effect from yesterday. Um, I didn't wash my face or anything last night, and this morning I just splashed it with some cool water. Um, so nothing else is on my face. This is still just remnants from yesterday. Um, I don't know that I think that this treatment is like, you know, the facelift without a facelift. Maybe it is if you do it over an extended period of time, you know, if you go like once a month for like six months or something like that. Like I said, I might try to turn this into like a monthly sort of face treatment trial thing. But overall, I'm not disappointed with it. Um, the spa that I went to again was Open Sky Day Spa in Columbus, Ohio. And they were really, really wonderful. Like very professional, kind, warm staff. It had a very just sort of natural, soothing environment, not super clinical at all. Um, and you know, the other stuff that she used on my face for the facial and the cleansing and all of that, something she put on my face at one point smelled like, um, cherry cordials with a little bit of almond. It was so incredible. It was really, really delicious. And the whole thing was stupidly affordable. I think that the microcurrent facial was only $50. So really, really well priced, very, very nice spa. I definitely am going back. I already scheduled another appointment for the end of January. So that is the final review. Um, if you're considering doing a microcurrent facial, I would say give it a try. Um, do your reading on it. Ask the esthetician any questions that you have going in. But I'm not disappointed. For what I paid and for the reaction that my skin had, I'm not disappointed at all. So that is that. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it informative. If there's other treatments that you're curious about, um, comment down below and maybe I'll consider those for future videos. Anyway, um, happy holidays, and I'm going to leave this one here. Bye.